1027 with Jeremy Max and MoneyWeb. All right, here's something that we don't always want to talk about, but I guess we have no choice but to. And in an effort to make compliance easy and hopefully seamless, uh, the South African Revenue Service between the 1st and the 14th of July, so just around the corner, is going to be issuing something called auto assessment notices for the, what it terms, average non-provisional individual taxpayer. So let me try and translate all of that for you. I want to look at the advantages and the risks with uh, Jashwin Baiju, who is head of strategic engagement and compliance at Tax Consulting SA. Jashwin, good evening to you and welcome. Maybe the starting point here, because I know that often when we talk about tax, people run a country mile. What do we mean by auto assessment? Good evening, Jeremy, and thanks for having me on. So with regards to the SARS auto assessments, this is a pre-populated tax return which is issued by SARS for taxpayers to very simply log into their e-filing, confirm the correct details are reflected, and click submit. The purpose of this is to streamline, and as you rightfully stated, an attempt by SARS to make compliance easy and sometimes seamless. Auto assessments are typically affected where it is a very standard case of an individual taxpayer with a single income stream not an independent contractor where there is the possibility of certain expenses being deducted. All right, now it's going to be issuing auto-assessment notices. What are those? Auto-assessment notice is very simply a notification that is received either via email or SMS from SARS, alternatively uploaded on the SARS mobile app or on the taxpayer's e-filing profile, indicating that SARS has issued or raised an automated assessment based on information available, including prior assessments, IRP fives uploaded from your employer, as well as, and only if need be, processed bank statements, checking every credit transaction. So it all sounds very simple and hopefully seamless, as we've both said. Is this a move to enhancing efficiency as SARS is concerned, or is this just something to focus and maybe even scare high-risk or non-compliant taxpayers? Because, Jashwin, I don't need to tell you, you, you get that little SMS from SARS, and, uh, you know, the first thing that starts happening is you perspire heavily because, uh, you know, you kind of think that people are out to get you. Yeah, look, Jeremy, that, that, that little SMS still does even give myself a, f- a few heart palpitations, and I'm a tax practitioner, so I get it every single time one of my guys get pulls a statement of account to run a diagnostic or files an application, etc. And it's, it's really not a good time you get this random SMS or email. Now, if, we, if we're looking very much at SARS's utilization of artificial intelligence enhancements to their data capturing and processing process, well... I think it's, it's, it's more a case of the AI enhancements. Yes, they indicate that 2024 filing season will be smooth, but practically, it's probably more likely to be smooth for SARS, not so much taxpayers. As we've said, you know, your auto assessments are your, your low risk, your non, non-provisional average guy, single income, IRP5 from the employer. It's your, it's your very standard stuff. Now, where your, your AI kicks in, is in deriving data-driven compliance insights, meaning where there's multiple streams of income, where you are in a higher income bracket, where you're a business owner or you're a contractor and you've got certain expenditure that needs to be deducted. And all of these things are then taken into consideration. But going beyond that, and I think really the the, the crux, the crux of, of, of the discussion and the crux of this awareness is a case of, well, the Tax Admin Act, and to your tax laws in general, do actually list actions and inactions which are deemed criminal offenses. And this is this is something taxpayers don't know. I mean, I I can't count the number of times I've spoken to to clients, and they say, um, "Yeah, no, I just haven't filed a tax return in 2020, or I haven't filed for the last three years." You know, my income is so standard; it's just a single income. And yes, now that's catered for by auto assessments from the last two three years. But there's no guarantee of, one, you will be part of that pool on auto-assessments. And two, while not filing a tax return, whether it is intentionally, negligently, willfully, you know, all those those words used in the legislation, it doesn't 
change the substance of the act, which is a criminal offence mm. expressly listed in your tax legislation. Josh, when I get paid money to ask stupid questions, so here comes the first one. You, you mentioned the use of artificial intelligence. Is that being used, and I know that there's been a pilot project that's been run by SARS, is that being used to specifically single out non-compliant people? If that's the case, surely there is the propensity then for uh, error. Of course, there's always the propensity for error, and exactly that. So SARS has a compliance program running, and you would have seen it in the revenue results announcement back in in April. Um, the compliance program has yielded results, yes, but at the same time, there's always that room for error, and that is where, you know, that's that's very much where we come in as a firm or other tax practices. You know, when there where that error does take place, it's when you file a dispute with SARS, um, and obviously there must be grounds, there must be merits. But you can then contest SARS's finding. And factually, if we, if we think about it in the direction the world is going, which does look like it's going to be taken over by AI. Jeremy, it's, they're probably going to take my job. They can take your job, you know. But factually, there, there is always that room for error, which is why even with the data-derived insights from the AI systems, it still needs to run through individual officials at SARS. However, Practically, what we've seen over the last 12 to 18 months is with this AI pilot project, the errors are becoming less and less because there is factually more room for human error than there is for AI error. Joshua, let me just clear one thing up. Uh, You're not actually talking to a human being. I am a robot, uh, just a very badly programmed one. But uh, once you digest that, let me also say that it's important if you declare a dispute with SARS, you're still liable to pay until that dispute is resolved. I'm correct, aren't I? So you're referring to the pay now, argue later rule. And, you know, that's, that's, that's something that's kind of as old as time on SARS's side. However, it's important to note that you do not have to pay now, argue later, as long as you file the correct legal stopper in tandem with your dispute. And it's very much the same for other relief mechanisms, such as a compromise of tax debt or a payment arrangement. Whilst those items are being processed, SARS need to be engaged to ensure there's no collection against the taxpayer. So just to wrap up then, I conceivably might get this auto assessment notice. As I mentioned at the start of our conversation, you might get this in the 14 days between the 1st and the 14th of July. The idea is one, don't panic, follow the rules, and it's actually there to make your life easier. Correct. So one, don't panic. Two, don't assume it's there to make your life easier. Make sure you double check that auto assessment before clicking submit on your pre-populated SARS form. And where you are in disagreement with an assessment subsequently raised after the fact, always ensure time engagement with SARS. And where you still fall short, you would need correct legal representation, which does not necessarily have to cost you an arm and a leg where you catch the problem early rather than too late. Thank you very much indeed, Jashwin, for a very cogent explanation to something that often really upsets or or irritates or makes people scared. Uh, So uh, an important conversation. Jashwin uh, Baiju, Head of Strategic Engagement and Compliance at Tax Consulting SA. Appreciate your time tonight. I suspect we will talk again in the near future. Heart Business on Heart 1027 with MoneyWeb.